Our story draws to a close with thanksgiving and our own times of celebration. Thanks be to God for his indescribable gift, his son Jesus, the baby laid in a manger who grew to show God's love. I wonder, I wonder what we will give thanks for this Christmas. One of my Christmas traditions is to read every year a Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens. And uh, whilst there were several copies of the book in our house, both at number four and here, um, my dad decided one year that I should have my own copy and he bought me this uh, glorious uh, book. And uh, it's one that uh, I tre treasured ever since um, and I used to read the story at Christmas time. And I thought I'd just read one short passage to you. Scrooge's nephew Fred has come to visit and they've had an argument. And uh, this is what uh, Fred replies. There are many things from which I might have derived good, by which I have not profited, I dare say. Christmas among them. But I am sure I have always thought of Christmas time, when it has come around, apart from the veneration due to its sacred name and origin, if anything belonging to it can be apart from that, as a good time. A kind, forgiving, charitable, pleasant time. The only time I know of in the long calendar of year when men and women seem by one consent to open up their shut up hearts freely and to think of people below them as if they really were fellow passengers to the grave and not another race of creatures bound on other journeys. And therefore, I say, although it has not put a scrap of gold or silver in my pocket, I believe it has done me good and will do me good. And I say, God bless it. <laughs>